this video, I'm going to go over the step-by-step -step process that I use in order to make my vocal presets. We're not going to cover just the part of me actually making the chain, but I'm talking about a full guide from downloading the actual song and separating the vocals so I can understand what that artist actually sounds like to studying the vocals to find out which plugins I actually need to use to replicate that sound. I'm going to show you guys all the tools that I actually use to make it easy for you to do the same thing I do. Let's just jump right into this video and get started with step number one. So for the sake of this video, to keep it a little bit more entertaining, I am going to do a yeet song and I'm just going to pick something off of up to me that I haven't done yet. And I don't think I've done got rich. All right. So I got the MP3 downloaded and now we move on to step two, which is going to be separating the vocals from the beat just so I could better understand how the vocals actually sound. So I'm just going to drag the MP3 over into ease us. This is the website that I use. I personally get the best results from this website and it's the fastest. I know there's a lot of other methods, but this always works the best for me. The cool part about ease us is they also have the stem splitter, which is super cool for getting some drum kits from songs that you really like. For example, if you like the drums on up to me, you could download a bunch of those songs, drag it into the stem splitter, and then you could use those drums yourself. They also have the song key and BPM finder. This is also great. Like anytime I download a song from Instagram or something like that, and I try to put vocals over it, a lot of the times I have trouble finding the key for auto tune. But I'll just drag the MP3 in here and it instantly finds me the BPM and key. And it's almost hundred percent perfect every time. Back to the actual song. I'm going to take the instrumental and just drag the volume down. And then we're going to play this and you can hear exactly how the vocals sound. I just put up in it talking. And I got rich, yeah, the egg got a whole lot of and I got rich, yeah. Bitch, I blew up like Osama. And then it's perfect now, too, because when I go to make my preset and I want to sing over it, I can remove the vocals and just play the beat. So now what I'm going to do is export both of the vocals with this button right here and the instrumental. Boom, so there's the vocals. And here is the instrumental. So now I'm going to select both of these files, the vocal and the instrumental. I'm going to drag it over the track header and we're going to click audio clips. Now, if we play it, it's going to sound completely normal, just like the actual track. But as you can see, we can solo out the vocals and get an understanding for what we actually need to do. Okay, so now we have to set the key and BPM. So I'm going to go back to ease us and we're going to go to the key and BPM finder. I'm just going to drag in the actual song right here. This should pretty much take a second yet. Yeah, 142. And it looks like we got A minor. Okay, so let's set the BPM to 142. And in FL Studio, when you bring in an MP3, there's going to be silence in the beginning. So I'm going to select both of these, go to one of the beats where I know a kick should hit. So this beat right here, this kick should be exactly on this line. So we have to select both. Click S on your keyboard to bring up the slide tool. Hold Alt and just drag these over. Now let's turn the metronome on and make sure it's on time. I got rich, yeah. Bitch, I blew up like Osama. So now what I'm going to do is right click the plus button to get started on our vocal preset. I'm going to shift click here and name it vocal preset. And then we can just make this whatever color you want. Let's make it green for yeet. And double click this. It'll bring you into the mixer. And let's get started on making this preset. So if we listen to the vocals. I got rich, yeah. Bitch, I blew up like Osama. I can tell right off the bat, it's a lot of auto-tune. Vocals are squashed from compression. We're going to do a few little tricks with the EQ to make the voice really stand out like Yeet does. And then we need some form of saturation because it's a very bright vocal. So I'm going to get started on that right away. We'll start by adding auto-tune pro. We'll set our scale, bring the retune speed all the way up, and then we are set. Now I want a noise gate to remove any unwanted noise coming in from my mic on the outside. My personal favorite for this is NS1 by Waves. This is the EQ that I set for now. We might change it later. I got an LA2A compressor. We're just going to bring the peak reduction up. We're just going to boost some of these high frequencies and maybe attenuate the frequency next to it. And we're going to stack our compressors. We're using an 1176 for the second one. I'm going to break it in an 8 to 1 ratio and just bring that release all the way up. And for our saturation plugin, I'm going to use this UAD plugin and we'll just adjust the drive to around 50% for now. I'm going to grab a de -esser. You could use literally any de you want. We'll adjust the threshold as we start recording. And then the last thing I'm going to add is an L1 limiter. You can use any limiter that you want, but this is just to add some volume to the vocal. Then I also just added a fruity flangus, and we're just going to bring the mix down on this. So now we're going to go back into our playlist and just set our input so we can actually hear how this vocal sounds. All right, this is what the preset is sounding like so far. So let's see how this actually sounds. How'd you pull up in the town? All right, so obviously this sounds pretty damn bad right off the bat. So we got to do some adjustments. So I'm going to attenuate this low end right here. That's going to pull out some of the low end because I noticed that was a little too much. Also, we're missing reverb and delay. So let's make a reverb track. We're going to shift click here, call it Rev and DEL for delay. And let's just add Valhalla Vintage Verb for now. And I'm going to set this to, let's go smooth plate. 
just bring this decay down a bit and bring the low cut up. Then for the delay, I'm just going to use the trusty H delay. Set this to one fourth ping pong. We're going to turn off the analog. Make sure your dry wet is all the way up on your reverb and delay because these are buses. And what we're going to do is go to the vocal and shift click these buttons down here. And this is going to act as a send. And we'll just increase this knob to get some delay going or some reverb going. And then some delay. Huh. I just pull up in the town. There we go. That sounded pretty good. I actually don't want this delay of feedback for so long. So. All right, so this sounds pretty good. Let's listen to the vocals. I'm going to turn that ping pong off. But on the delay, what we're going to do is add an S1 imager to make it real wide. All right, let's just record this in so we can get started on the ad libs. All right, it's also way too loud. So let's go to the limiter and just bring the ceiling down. All right, so now we're going to do the ad lib track, which is going to be like the most important part. So right click the vocal preset and click clone. And we're going to turn off audio clips and we're going to do mixer routing on. Shift click this. Let's name it ad libs. Double click this to bring it into the mixer. And let's just bring or actually let's switch over to this. Yep. Yep. All right, there we go. So now we're on the ad lib track. I'm going to bring up this flangus a bunch. Let's listen to what the ad libs actually sound like with the vocal that was split from ease us. I just put up in it talking. All right, so I'm going to turn this off for now. We're going to make this high pitch yeet effect. And what we're going to do is add auto tune pro. Make sure you use the low latency and we're going to leave all the settings the same, but just transpose it up 12 semitones. Then we're going to go to the ad lib track, shift click this button down here and slowly bring it in. You're going to get that. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? 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 All right. All right, so what I'm going to do is just bring up on the ad lib track the delay, make it a lot louder. You make the main vocal a little louder. There we go. So that sounds pretty good. Now I want to show you guys what I usually add on my master that makes it sound so much better overall. So the first thing I add on my master is the Abbey Road mastering chain. And what I'm going to do is bring up this tape equalizer to 7.5. And just let's take a listen. How'd you pull up in the town? That already sounds so much better off the bat. I'm going to bring up the spreader, which is basically going to help out the stereo field, make it sound a lot better. I'm also going to bring up this presence knob. How'd you pull up in the town? All right, one last thing I want to add on the ad libs is we're going to go to insert number eight. I'm going to name this low pitch, and we're basically going to go to the high pitch over here. Click the auto tune, save preset as, drag it over here. And in this auto tune one, we're going to do it down 12 semitones. Then we're going to go to the ad lib track, shift click this button down here, and just bring this in. I'm going to solo this out so you can kind of hear what it's doing, but it's going to give it like a demon effect. All right, let's hear that one more time. And that's the process that I use to actually make my vocal presets. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Also, make sure you check out Ease Us. Like I said, the reason I like them is it's always the best quality and always the quickest out of any AI stem splitter that I've ever used. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you stay tuned. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next, but I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.